So the question has come up multiple times lately on how to give access to different people in a studio session. Now, before we get into the video, if you're loud noises in the background is because it's 4th of July and there's fireworks going all over the place. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my studio session. Now I'm gonna go up here to the studio session settings. Now, once the settings come up, this is the main thing that I wanna go over. So we have three different tabs up top. One is the general and the, the other one is attendees. And then the other one is permissions. So we're gonna start with general. General, this is for the session name, session ID, total users. It was created on June 1st. It also down here gives you the option to have an expiration. So for example, this studio session expired on July 1st at 5 p.m. So you can set different expiration dates. The second tab that I wanna go over is attendees. So these are the people that are invited to the studio session. So we can either add people by hitting on the plus button and then we just start typing up their, their email address or we can also do it by selecting a group. Let me talk about groups on the next tab. So I'm gonna to go to the permissions. So let's start with groups. So what are groups? Uh, you can create different groups. If, For example, if your project has a list of people that always have to be invited to these type of studio sessions, or if you wanna create your own from scratch and say, every time I create a studio session, I wanna select this group to be part of my session. You can also do that as well. And then you just come in here and pick that group. So how do we create that group? We're gonna click on this button here, which is the group membership management. I'm gonna create a group from scratch. So this is gonna be Archer Western Big Creek, uh, copy two. I'm gonna select okay. And then right here, once I click on the group that I just created, I'm gonna click the plus button and then I'm gonna start typing up email addresses. So I can add as many people as I want and then I can just keep going. But for now, I'm just gonna hit cancel and right here in this group that I already created, I already added three different people to that group. So I'm just gonna click on that, select okay. And then once I go back to the attendees and I just wanna select that one group, I can go into this group button here. And if you see the group that I just created is Archer West and Bakery Copy 2. I select that and then those people are added to my studio session. Now, if I go back to permissions and I wanna add that group, but I also wanna give them certain rights, certain permissions, so I can go to the plus button, I can select the group that I just created, click okay. And then here on the right is gonna give me different options. So if I click on the drop down menu, I'm gonna select allow. That means that they can do a save as on the file that they're using or that they're working on. I can also give them rights to print. I can also give them rights to do uh, any markups on the file. Same with uh, markup alert. And I don't want to give them access to add any documents. Only I can add the documents. And same with full control. I don't want them to have any access to control the studio session or to control the files that were added to the studio session. So for this one, I'm gonna click deny. So these were just a few things that I wanted to go over in the studio session. I've had a few questions come up in the past couple of weeks on how to give different permissions to different people, how to add files, or how to navigate the studio session. So hopefully you learned something new. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.